Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna check out the Thundercat solo on his song A Fan's Mail, played live at The Current. First I'm gonna show you the transcription, then I'm gonna make a short comment on the solo, and then I'm gonna break down one line and analyze it, so that will be something you can take with you and practice it and incorporate it in your vocabulary. Here's the transcription. <laughs> So there's a few things to mention about the solo. First, the harmony. We're playing like a B flat six nine. This uh, A sus to A dominant A seven to D minor seven with a nine, and then it repeats again, and then this G seven sharp eleven. So you could think you have scales like uh, B flat uh, uh, Lydian, uh, A HM5 or uh, Phrygian dominant scale. Uh, over D minor, he he often plays a major six. So it could be thinking uh, D Dorian or even D uh, melodic minor. And on this uh, G7 sharp 11. D melodic minor or G Lido mix scale, which is the same. One point at the end, he does play is a whole tone scale. So if you think this, not as a sharp 11, but as a flat 5 chord, you could think like that. Uh, and uh, he, at the end of his solo, he actually plays whole tone scale so that's pretty cool interesting there the rhythmical side of his soloing it's mainly 16th notes and 16 notes six tuplets or triplets so he really likes to play these quick descending fills lines a few things i notice as well like uh, his one of his favorite lines that i heard in other solos is like playing outlining a major seven chord so a b flat d the five so major seven one three seven that's like something he really likes or he really likes uh, this a uh, bit pentatonic uh, and shapes another thing would be often his lines sound out and i'm not sure if that's an intention or just like he has like uh, some lines under his fingers and plays them but usually he resolves them uh, properly so they maybe sound a little bit weird and but they always kind of resolve in the proper way so it's uh, really interesting to hear it because you only see you notice it once you really uh, dig in and start breaking it down and analyzing what's happening so for example one line he plays is um, and then he repeats that's completely out compared to the chord itself sounds really nice but it's he plays a uh, he plays an F sharp over a D minor 7 chord so it's out <laughs> note and I'm not sure he, his intention was to play out but I think he heard this line in his head or he had this uh, he knows this line and he played it here uh, yeah but he resolves it in a proper way so it all sounds very uh, coherent still
So our line is basically played on two bars uh, and four chords. So first bar has a B flat major seven, two beats, and then A seven, two beats. And then the second bar has B minor seven, two beats, and G seven, sharp 11, two beats. And we're starting off on A natural, so the major seven of the B flat major. And then from there we go to A chord and we go and we play like G, C, D, C sharp. So this C, D, C sharp is in closure targeting this third of the A7 chord. And then just simply A, E on D. So we have 5, 9 on the D minor 7 and again 5, 9 on G7. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you have any additional questions, write them down in the comment section and stay at home and practice.